Hello and welcome to episode 4 of the Profile Tree Premiere Pro tutorial series. In today's episode we will be talking about motion tracking and how to do this easily within Premiere Pro. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is import some footage. Um, today I'm going to be using a Gaussian blur to blur out my subject's face. It's probably the most common use of motion tracking that you will see. You'll see it on TV if you need to protect someone's identity. The news or a documentary series might use it to protect uh, a certain subject's identity. So we're going to pretend that we need to protect this subject's identity today and what we're going to do is click on our clip, go to our effects panel, which is right here, and we're going to search for, as I mentioned earlier, a Gaussian blur. And we're going to drag that onto our sequence and then go to effect controls. So we're going to scroll down to our blurriness um, and we're going to click on a mask. We've chosen the circular one obviously because our subject's face um, is more circular than it is square obviously so it's just a bit easier to manage. So we're going to just position this as best we can on our subject's face so click on the square icons drag it in. Once you've got it roughly you can go a bit closer in. So go to maybe 75% and just get it nice and snug around your subject's face. Also make sure that you're at the very start of your sequence, start of your clip, rather than say halfway through it. Um, so go back out to normal what we're going to do is um, we're going to blur his face so just slightly say about that much so now we've got our subject blurred the next thing we're going to do is click this button here so we're going to go to mask mask path and click it looks like a play button so just click this triangle and it says track selected uh, mask forward so we're going to click that and then your tracking process will begin As we can see, our blur is following our subject's face. However, you can see towards the end, it begins to come off. So if that happens, you simply just select the part where it comes off and manually adjust. And you can do that for the rest of the clip. So that's how you do motion tracking within Premiere Pro. Um, there are several other ways to do it. That's it in its most basic form, but I hope this has helped you and I will see you again next time for episode five. Thanks, bye.